Welcome back. My name is Matt. This is Hidden Light. And Black Friday just happened. So like, sale, 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 sale. Bye, 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 bye. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, really though. I'm not the guy who loves the Black Friday shit. Uh, I think the best camera that you have is probably the one that you already have with you, that you already have today. You don't need to buy more stuff. However, if you are looking for a gift for the photographer in your life, whether that's yourself, special friend, not so special friend, I have some suggestions. And I feel like it would be a disservice not to discuss some of the suggestions, uh, especially when we're all in a gift giving sort of mood. I'm not saying you gotta buy these things from me. I'm not saying that you gotta buy them at all. I'm just saying these are things that photographers like. So we'll start kind of small and work our way sort of up, depending on how much, how much you like the photographer in your life. So, obviously, and very easily, the first place, hello, hello, I would start is film. Uh, it's reasonably inexpensive, and you know that the analog photographer in your life will use it. Like, if they shoot film already, more film is part of the answer. Film that they don't have to pay for, yes, love that. I have two films that I'm recommending specifically for the holiday season. The first, no-brainer. Portrait 800. It's just great, right? It's wintertime, it's a little darker, you need a little bit of extra speed. Portrait 800 does great with skin tones, photographing your friends, your family, whatever it is. Portra. Now, it's a little expensive. That's okay, because the second film I'm recommending is ever so slightly less expensive, especially when you can find it on sale. Uh, Port uh, sorry, Cinestill 800T is this one it's just an incredible film but two it's great for photographing light sources specifically christmas lights it, you get the halo that halation that sort of sinistil experience and it looks really cool it's also uh good for outdoors amazingly enough you shoot this in daylight it has the tendency to shift slightly blue which can be cool because Cool, see what I did there? It can be cool because the cool tones give you that cool vibe when you're like walking around in the snow. Snap a photo and it just feels cold, right? Because the white balance, a little colder. So um, those are my two obvious recommendations. The other one I'm gonna recommend is a Kent mirror, either a 100 or the 400, they're both great. If you're feeling a little more black and white. I, like many, tend to get a little melancholy, like it's cold out, I just wanna like, put on my beret and smoke a cigarette and write poetry or make dark, moody, black and white photographs. Kent Mirror is inexpensive. It's an easy way to do this. You can get this for like eight or 10 bucks, depending on where you find it, 17-ish. And then the portrait, of course, is a little bit more expensive. But film is part of the answer. I highly recommend it. Excellent. Plus, you can get like a couple of these bad boys and put them in a stocking stuffer and be like, hey, yo, Santa loves you. Happy Easter. Uh, moving along. Uh, I am into accessories. I know that's hard to believe. I'm not talking like necessarily filters because whatever, but I'm talking to like EDC carry, little baby tools, stuff like that. Uh, I personally carry some things every day, such as a pocket knife, right? They don't have to be expensive. Just some sort of pocket knife is great. Always have one on me. A little baby flashlight. You can get these for like 25 bucks. I don't sell them but like any sort of little baby flashlight, you'd be amazed. You'd be amazed at how often you will use one of these once you have one to carry around with you. The other thing that I've really been stoked on recently are these little like tool gizmo gadget things. Like, yes, it's a bottle opener, but it's also both kinds of screwdrivers, a pry bar, uh, ah, a little measuring thing. It's got like measurements in millimeters. It just, Listen, they're cool and they're reasonably inexpensive when you can find them. A bunch of different companies make them. Again, I don't sell these yet, but they're cool. I also have the slightly more larger version, which I think is really cute. It's got like the bottle opener, the pry bar, the 
thing, the different wrench styles, the sketchy saw blade looking, yikes. Uh, the Sunny 16 rule engraved, like, come on, that's too cool. Again, I don't sell them. If I, Jesus, if I could find a link to one, I'll put one in the description down below. It's really fun. Moving along, up the food chain. Every photographer wants a new camera. It doesn't matter if the camera is cheap and plastic. It doesn't matter if it's pink or a weird color. Every photographer wants a new camera. It's just built into us. So uh, I got a bunch of these. This is the kind of camera that I carry around personally. As a matter of fact, in my beer koozie, I have my own personal one right now. It's empty, which is good. I'll put some Cinestill in that later. Uh, I carry the pink one because I like pink. We've got a deal where we're doing this and this. So the Kodak Ultra Max and the Rideau Ultra Wide and Slim for an amount off. I forget what it is. Um, check the website. Uh, that's where the link will be for the, or that's where the deal will be. But a cheap plastic camera. I think these retail for like 40 bucks. So you get one of these and a roll of film for like the same price as just one of these. I think that it's something like that. Every photographer wants, no, you, every photographer wants a new camera. And you can be like, hey babe, I got you a sweet camera. Congratulations. Anyway, that was a little big to fit in a stocking though. So you might want to wrap it properly, which is great. Having inexpensive gifts to put under the tree or put under the menorah or whatever you're into. Uh, moving onward and upward, this is the real deal. Fancy, isn't it? That's a note card. When you purchase a bulk process and scan card from us, rather than me mailing you or handing you a thing that you just paid $200 for that you can then lose, <gasps> we keep it on file for you here. So when you buy your bulk process and scans, we're doing a deal on those right now. Instead of 170 bucks, we got it down to 150. It's the lowest I'm ever going to offer it. Uh, because that's 10 rolls of process and 61 megapixel scans at effectively 15 bucks a piece. That's a screaming deal. Usually it's 22 bucks a roll. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you can buy those also on the old website. If you want to buy like one roll at a time for the photographer in your life, I'm sure you can figure out a way to do a gift card for that person. Be like, hey, I bought you a couple rolls of film and I bought you a couple rolls of process and scans to go along with them. That's awesome. It means I, as an analog photographer, get to shoot and I have to spend my own money, which feels really good. The tree is moving. Um, some of the things you might recommend that are maybe slightly less obviously photographically related, uh, whiskey, always good. Always a good choice. If the photographer in your life drinks alcohol, whiskey is almost always a safe bet. I, uh, I, don't, have, I don't have mine on set here with me. I don't know where it went. I'm certain I didn't drink it. A uh, bottle of whiskey goes a long way. Just like, hey, I, no I, I noticed you're into photography. Here's the spirit of choice. Uh, we're also in the middle of putting together some flasks that we have. Flasks. Uh, we're going to like laser engrave some cool stuff on. They haven't shown up yet. We're still waiting on the manufacturing process. But uh, a flask that you can stick in your camera bag. Always a good choice. I have one here. This is like a muy gigante version. Uh, ours will be smaller than this and also blacker because black. But 10 out of 10, a little bit of, little bit of uh, spirit of your choice. Works great. The final thing, if you really love the photographer in your life, is a brand new proper camera. This chunk is the Pentax 645N. Uh, we're going to put it on a massive discount. Uh, the, it actually may even be gone before this video goes live. I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to get this out. But we're putting all the cameras, all the cool stuff that we're trying to unload so that we can buy more new stuff or send stuff out to get repaired, whatever. It's all going on sale. Follow us on Instagram. That's the first place everything goes because it's the easiest place for us to put stuff. If you see something on Instagram that you love, DM us and be like, yo, I gotta have that and we'll poof, we'll make it happen. All of these deals are gonna be good until December 22nd, which is our last day of work for the year. And uh, yes, come, come the 23rd, all the deals will magically disappear from the website and you shan't be able to have them. If you 
have something that you're going to get the photographer in your life or a suggestion that you as a photographer would love to receive that I haven't covered, drop that in the comments down below. Maybe we'll do a follow-up because I'm into this kind of stuff. It's fun. Like, yeah, buy, 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 sell, 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 Black Friday. But like, what are you actually into? What do you actually use? Like, I actually, oh my God, I can't pick it up. Carry this goofy little camera tool with me everywhere and use it all the time. I actually carry this little camera with me everywhere and use it all the time. Like, ah, uh, it's cheap, it's easy, it's great. Anyway, those are my ideas for your photographer in your life. Um, thanks for joining us. We'll see you when we see you. Oh, also, grab like a box, the box that you buy the film in, and put a little hook through it. And then you can make it into an ornament on the tree. Or you can take your empty cassettes. We have lots of empty cassettes. And you can uh, make an ornament. And if, you, and if you ever ruin a roll of film, which I'm sure you've never done, but I do all the time, you just use it as like this little tinsel on your Christmas tree. Which is the cutest... Cutest... Blah! Ah! Blah! Blah!